Hi guys, Yuri here again. Welcome to YB Plays Music. So today I'm gonna show you guys how to play the G sharp minor chord. And like in last week's videos, we're gonna start off with just playing the G minor chord. Now the first way to play the G minor chord was right here. If you want to know how to play this chord in different positions, the link for that will be somewhere above here. But basically we're starting off in this position to get to the next. So we're starting off with the G minor chord and then just move one fret up again on the arm and then we get the G sharp minor chord. All right, so that's basically the first position to do it. Now I'm gonna explain exactly how to place your fingers if you didn't watch the tutorial on how to play the G minor chord. So for the G sharp minor chord, we're gonna use our index finger and place it over all the strings on the fourth fret. And then I'm going to add my pinky finger on the 6th fret of the 4th string. And then finally my ring finger on the 6th fret of the 5th string. And if we play all the strings, then we get the A sharp minor chord like this. And I told in previous videos that to put down my index finger enough, I support it a little bit with my middle finger. So it's easier. All right. Now, for the second way, to play the G sharp minor chord, we're gonna use the same method like last week, being we're gonna jump down one string with our fingers. So instead of covering all the strings with my index finger, I'm gonna just cover the five lower. And with my pinky finger and my ring finger, I'm gonna just jump one string down from the fourth and fifth string to the third and fourth string. Then we're gonna move up seven frets, count them with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then we're gonna add our middle finger to it, place it exactly in between them on the second string. In this case, on the 12th fret. If we play the five lower strings, then we get the G sharp minor chord. All right, so basically the same, but higher, like this. Okay, so those are the most common ways to play the G sharp minor chord. All right, this was the last one from the sharp versions. Next week, we're gonna start off with the A flat minor chord and work our way up for the rest of the chords as well then. So stay tuned for that one. I hope you learned something again today, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share the video. Also, don't forget, I have reaction videos and music videos for you guys to check out. So thank you very much and see you guys next time. Bye.